hello hello welcome happy Monday to everyone yeah Labor Day I know seems like we this summer really didn't even get started and now we're at the end of summer but I hope you had a wonderful weekend we had incredible weather here so it was really perfect um, a little hectic <laughs> uh, let me know when you're here and tonight we're going to be making a fancy fold card. I look like I went through the tornado. Uh, <laughs> this weekend has been changing this room. Well, making it be dual purpose. So this is going to be Mimi School starting tomorrow, as well as Let's Learn. So it's going to be, and it's a little room, and I'm not little, but <laughs> we're going to make it work. So, and I was trying really hard to make it, I'll show you pictures when it, it's not set up now because it's set up for you, but I have this, a way to, I hope, to make it change, and I'll show you pictures tomorrow. Um, I want to make it super easy to set it up so that I can take it up and take it down, but I also want it to be special for her because kindergarten in Mimi's craft room isn't really what we all had in mind for her. But, but it's going to be great. And she is doing online with her school, but she's doing online with me. So we wanted it to be special. So welcome, everybody. So glad that you're here. And there's a couple things that I messed up in my last minute, but I think you're here. I think my apples are here because we're doing an apple unit. Yep. <laughs> Oh goodness, it's been a while, but it's the same as this, really. It's paper, scissors, glue, yeah, eating, snacks, nap time. I, I can do all of that. Oh, Shannon, you're not going to believe what she did. I'll, sh I'll post pictures later. Um, Shannon has met Grace. Grace is my granddaughter, who I talk about incessantly, and I'm sorry. I, I swore I would never be that Grammy. Um, but I'm that Mimi instead. Um, Grace has, you've seen pictures of her because I show you all the time, has ridiculously long blonde hair and she decided she wanted to cut it and donate it. So she got her hair cut on Saturday. It, it's adorable. It's super sweet. It's not really short. It's still like here. And she's donating 12 inches to Locks of Love. So, super excited. She's really excited about it. She's so sweet. So anyway, I thought that was a pretty big deal at five to decide. And I kept saying, are you sure? Because she really, really likes her hair. But nope, she was done with it. And she kept saying, to my shoulders, to my shoulders. And I thought, oh no, it's not going to do what you want. It's curly hair. <laughs> But she did. She did it. She looks gorgeous. It's like perfect wavy. It's not even, it's great. It's the kind of hair we'd all kill for. Yeah, and she has it. So anywho, that was our weekend. And then rearranged this, this room four times because I didn't like it the first time. Anyway, thank you all for indulging me in my own personal vamp here. And by the way, I have been so excited to see all of the cards that you guys have been posting and sharing over the weekend. I hope that you've had a chance to wander through the galleries in our Facebook groups. It is so inspiring and so cool to see all of these cards. So now, starting on Thursday, um, Becky shared one address with us, but we're gonna talk about where can we send these cards because making cards is, is for us, but now we wanna give them to other people. So keep thinking about, we've got the military, that we can send them to brainstorm some ideas and bring them on Thursday when we do our Zoom again. If you missed it last Thursday, no worries. I I'm, I did record it, but it just seems kind of, hey, Christine, it's kind of weird. To, it's We're not really, we're just chatting and it's just, it looks like the Brady Bunch and a bunch of people. I came away feeling like I just hung out with my best girlfriend. So I hope you felt like that too. And we will do it again this Thursday night at 7.30. Uh, really, if I gave you all the same the same paper, it would they would all look different. 
So I haven't gotten to it yet. I promised that I would, but I will do it. This is um, a sketch that I shared, not the card that I made Thursday night, but a sketch that I shared and said, hey, Melanie, and said, um, this is casing from the catalog. Casing, remember, is copy and share everything. So I'll be doing this every Thursday, and I will get this on the blog tonight. I said I would, and then I didn't. Um, so that you can do this. Shannon and Lana and our sister, not Lana's, Shannon's sister, Estelle, did a bunch. Susan did this one. I, I'm going to miss somebody, so I shouldn't even say it. But these were great. I love it. So what the, the case is, I go into the catalog, find a card, and then I give you the measurements and so that you can go ahead and make that card totally your own stuff. It doesn't have to be the same at all. It can be just start with that and, and then go on. So it's really fun. Okay, so what are we doing tonight? Enough babbling. Uh, tonight, this is what we're making. We are doing this fancy fold using, um, I want to call it perk and it's not, press on. Now press on is one of those stamp sets that you would might have just passed on by when you were looking through the catalog. And it's really cool. <clears throat> it's coffee, of course, so you know how can you go wrong? But all you need is confidence and lots of coffee, a cup of thanks, hope your day is full of perks. Coffee is always a good idea in the steam. Coffee, press on. And then two different, a to-go cup and a mug. So this is what we are gonna create, which looks a little daunting, but it's really not bad. So when you're gonna do something like this, I recommend that you start with just cutting your, um, cutting all your papers first, doing your scoring, and then assemble. Because you just kind of get crazy. A lot of people have instructions for this that says, cut this, put it down. And it just doesn't make sense to you, until, at least to me, um, I need to have it all cut and that brain works on the measuring and then I can put it together and then I can make it pretty. So that's how we're going to do it tonight. So let me move this stuff out of the way. And I pre-cut them the first time, but I'm going to cut one with you, totally different paper. Um, this is using the um, plaid tidings. Plaid tidings is on back order. So I wanted to swap it out and use something different. Um, but I did it with plaid tidings, Cajun craze, and crumb cake. So let me just put those to the side. And <laughs> I was printing the bulletin board and I was using some so saffron. So now my sketch is on so saffron. I told you I was rushing around today like a crazy person, but it's okay. We, it's still pretty. It'll, it'll work good. Um, and Becky, I don't know if you're here or not, but I did what Becky did. Somehow in my flurry this weekend, I have lost my scoring, my scoring blade. And they told her it's stamp enough to keep calling back, so I'll be doing that too. But in the short term, I'm using the little stylus. I could also use my take your pick. I could use my bone folder. A bunch of stuff works, so in case you lose yours, might be good to know that you have an option. All right, so since the plaid tidings is on back order, I'm going to switch to my other new favorite. This one is called Snowflake Splendor. So many great colors in this one. Um, first of all, remember it tells you on the back. I know, Becky, right? And I, and I dumped the trash this morning, but I feel like I would have, no and the trash people came too. So if it's in the trash, it's gone. I don't, I feel like I would have seen that though. Um, but you never know. This is Balmy Blue Coastal Cabana. I have to say it like that. You can't say Coastal Cabana. It's Coastal Cabana. Um, Highland Heather, Misty Moonlight, Night of Navy, Pacific Point, Pool Party, and Whisper White. Basically every blue that we, we have in the color spectrum gets to go with this. So I am going to use this piece. Oh, look at the back side though. Oh golly, I might use this and then it's not necessarily Christmassy. 
Ooh, yeah, I like that. So maybe I'll switch my color. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, I think you're Purple Posy, which is not one it told me, but Purple Posy looks like it goes too. Was that one of my choices? No, Highland Heather, okay. Well, we'll go with Highland Heather. Not gorgeous, great. I wasn't ready for this. Here it is. Uh, 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 uh. No, apparently only have gorgeous grape in my repertoire. No. All right. Well, we're gonna make this work. We are gonna go with. I know I own every color. I just can't put my little mitts on it right now. I'm gonna go with you because I think you go. Right? It's not even on here. But I'm going with it because I like it. So I'm gonna go with um purple posy and oh it sounds yummy. Bomby blue. Okay, those are the ones I'm gonna go with. So there's that. I'm gonna move you back here with the apples for the moment. And then I also need some Whisper White. Okay, I think we're good. Jeannie, you haven't missed anything. I've been babbling, so you haven't missed a thing. All right, so instead of Right? I know. Phew, pretty. So instead of crumb cake, I'm going to go with purple posy. So let's move. Um, this is on the blog in case you're wondering, like, how you're supposed to memorize this. So remember, just go to Kara Miller, click on the blog, and you can download this sketch, and you don't have to print it on So Saffron. Um, okay, so we're going to go with purple posy, and we're going to cut this at four and a quarter by 11. Okay, so there's one, and then we're going to score it at two and three quarters with my handy dandy new scoring item. Two and three quarters and five and a half. And then I'm going to set that aside. And then this one is going to be three and a quarter by ten, which means I can cut, I'm going to open you up at ten. Jeannie, I hope the fires aren't near you, are they? And then I'm going to score it four and seven. So four. I know California is a big state. And seven. Okay. Next, Cajun Craze, but in this case, that is going to be Bummy Blue. And I need three and three quarters by three. three so you can see like there's just a lot of measuring and a lot of thinking so it just works better if you pay attention to what you're doing with just this part and then go ahead and put it all together so two and three quarters by three two and three quarters by three for whisper white then three and three eighths by two and seven eighths. Really? Okay. Three and five eighths 
by two and seven eighths. Okay. And then designer series paper is four by four. What did I do? <laughs> what did I say, Mary Lou? Four by four. Debbie, she said it in all caps, so it must be serious. Four by four. And then two and a half by four. And a half. <clears throat> Almost. One more. Two and a half by four, and then two and three quarters by three. Or two and three quarters by three. Okay. So that's that. That's all my cuts. Okay. It says cut all the pieces, then assemble. I'm going to stamp the sentiment on the large Whisper White. And I colored those in with my Stampin' Blends. So let me move my trimmer now. Oh. <laughs> she called you out on it. All right, so the way this is going to go, this is going to go like this. Right? That was why it was those weird sizes, because it's, oh, sorry, this is in the way. Um, so it gives you a little frame. That's why it's there. All right. But since I went with a different color, i got to change my, clean my stamps a little bit. It is, and it really, it isn't bad if you do it all at once and then put it together, because you got your brain and the cutting and the scoring. And I also wrote it in a way... Rather than putting the sizes on the paper, I put the list of cutting. It's not normally the way I or anyone else writes instructions, but I felt like it would make it easier to work with. Well, let me know what you think when you do it. Okay, so there's that. So now, what color are we going to use? We are going to use, let's use Highland Heather because that was the recommended color. Although I've never seen coffee in Highland Heather before, but hey, why not? Maybe it's, right, that's a great idea. Mary Lou said cut a bunch at once. Um, okay, so maybe this is not going to be Here's what color it is. Um, this is going to go here. Ooh, pretty. And then Hope Your Day is Full of Perks is going to go up here. Now I probably have to change my ribbon because, oh, I need to stamp one more thing and I just need a scrap of paper. And I'm going to stamp, I used the mug, and then I can put my ink away. So it's kind of mass produced, sort of, like do all of this kind of thing at once. And then it does make it a lot easier. So now I'm going to color these in, and I need to change my color now because I changed my paper. Um, what are you? Let's go with Bommy Blue is our... Right. The cups are pretty. Now, if you remember, I told you that you need to use um, your memento if you're going to use your blends, which is normally true. It's always true. But when you're doing something like this, you're just adding a little color, you can get away with it. And what I did on the other one was I used light and dark. 
So that's what I'm going to do this time as well. So I didn't, because I'm really matchy-matchy and I don't like lots of color. Right, you have purple coffee cups? All right, perfect. I mean, I love color, but I don't like it, not too many. So this is balmy blue, light and dark. You could use your watercolor pencils if you don't have that. Remember, you can always use your ink. Use either the stamping, the blender pens that go with watercolor pencils, or you can use the aqua painters. I think, personally, I like this the blender pen better. I think that gives me more options. And then you just cut, then you use your ink, your stamp pads. So that's another option depending on what you have to work with. If you don't have the blends that you want and you want a different color, pick up a pack of the blender pens. Uh, I was going to show you some so that you could see what they look like. They come in a pack of three. Yeah. And they're really pretty cool to work with. No matter what, I keep them with my watercolor pencils, but this is what they look like. And you just pick up some color from, here's our Highland Heather. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of color in the corner. And then I can come in, in here, come in here and it works just like I had a pen. Especially in something little like this, it'll work great. It just lets you spread your colors a little bit better. All right. Yeah, it is. It's super cool. I do like the blender pen a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, there you go. Now you can see everything really up close. It just didn't want to stop. What is wrong with you? Come on. Okay. Phew. I'll move everything over in the center just a sec. All right. So now I just need a ribbon. That little metallic one I used is not going to be the one I want. Ooh, this would work good. Great question, Becky. What you do is you just keep wiping it on white paper until a piece of scrap paper till it comes clean. I just threw it over here. Glad you asked. Mine would be covered in purple. So you just put it on here and you just keep going. And it will eventually be clean. Okay. Yep. And then no worries. And it's not refillable, but they come three in a pack. They last, they do last a long time. All right, so I can't really do what I normally do with these, with this twine. So I'm gonna do this in a little different than I had described in the directions. But let me show you how to do that just in case. I love it when I change up the plan. So let's assume Let's assume this is your ribbon, and you're going to get a pen, and you're going to tie it around. I, I do this a lot, so you may have seen this already and think, yeah, all right, move on, move on. And you're going to double knot it. This was taught to me by my friend Lynn on a trip two years ago now, because we haven't been on a trip this year, and I loved it. So you just make a loop and double knot it on the pen, slide it off. And then you take your snips, which have disappeared. Susan, you always know where my stuff is. Where'd my snips go? Oh, there they are. And on 
on a diagonal. And then you get this super cool bow. If I was in the camera, you get this super cool bow. So it was a loop and I just snipped it and then it opens right up. Okay. All right. So that's what that does. But I'm going to do this one a little differently because this is twine and I, so I'm going to put a little bit of seal back here to catch it. And I'm going to start there. Because <coughs> sneeze. <laughs> Goodness, okay. And then I'm gonna sneeze again now. I wonder why. I think I stirred up the dust in this room today. And just double knot this. And we're good to go. So this is a little different than what I had done on the other one, but all right, I like that. And now, <laughs> thank you. Okay. So we accomplished that. I'm going to see if I can get this to zoom out. Oh, please zoom out and calm down. There. I, didn't, I wasn't happy before. Okay, so we have this done, right? Phew. Now we can figure out how to put this card together. So we're going to start with the long piece, this one. And this was scored this way and this way. So you're going to put it together. Fold it in half like you normally would a card, and then back, okay? In here is going to go, you've got three pieces of designer series paper. This one is going to go, oh, these colors, love them. It's going to go right there. And it isn't a snowflake now, so I'm not rushing the season. Thank you. All right, so we're going to pop that right there. Okay, then we're going to take this piece and we want the long one on the front and then this way. So it's going to go kind of a, it's kind of a Z, I guess, with a long tail on the bottom. All right, move you over. Now we're going to take this piece and it's gonna go right here. Now, if you put it there and you think, oh, that doesn't fit, it's probably because you've got it turned the wrong way. So spin it and then put that down. I saw that, isn't that crazy? Night, Lana. I'll upload it for you. And then we've got this piece of Whisper White that's gonna fit right here so that you can write your little note to whoever it's going to. Okay. And then this piece that we finished is going to go right here. Okay. So it seemed super complicated, but it really wasn't once she started putting everything together. There's one more piece to go down, right? So that's where most of them go, is there. And then this is gonna go on the front, right here. Oh, I love this paper. And I kind of wasn't opening it because I thought, well, it's snowflakes, we're gonna relax. You don't need to be doing snowflakes in September. I love the watercolor look. I gotta go look at all the other pieces now. So there's that. So here's the base of the card, okay? 
and then this is the top part. So now we just have to figure out how they're going to go together. I like to position the front piece and then fold it all together. So I do it fold it up the bottom and I'm going to put adhesive but remember I've only got to put it on the half of it. All right. <laughs> Mary Lou, I wondered, but you know what? I didn't I didn't say anything. Okay, so then I'm just gonna position this kind of in the middle where I want it. Right? Then fold this in the way it goes and close your cards. So now Open this back up like this and put your adhesive down on this piece. I'm really low on my adhesive right now. And it's really, it doesn't do as well on the bumpiness. Come on, little bugger, what's your problem? I didn't bend and snap apparently. I didn't. I was going too quick. Bend and snap. Okay, and now fold you together and over. And then there's your card, right? Super cool. I'm gonna bring in some of, these are, I have used these so much. The elegant faceted ones, I just love these. So I used the kind of champagne -y ones before, but I'm gonna use these white ones. And just pop on a couple. Oh, probably not right there. And there we go. Right? Fancy schmancy, you will blow them away when they open this card. Like, whoa, what did she do? So you have this and this. So the trick to these kind of cards and these, oh, oh no, no, we're not done. Hold on, never mind. Disregard. We have that one piece that we stamped on and I probably put somewhere. Where did he go? Here he is. This one. We're not done yet. And I'm going to take my, a double Z. Yeah, that would work. Maybe that's its name. Um, this is the Bommy Blue mug. You could put a name on this too if you wanted. the light and the dark. And then horrors of horrors, we're gonna fussy cut it, but it's really not bad. There is an up die set for this one. Whoops. I mean, you could really decorate that mug if you wanted. But it's really not bad. Remember, when you fussy cut, you turn the paper, not your scissors. And if you are worried about the way that you cut, you can always ink it up. Oh, good. Melanie, you've been posting the most incredible sunrise and sunset and planetary photos. I'm so impressed. Is that from your house? Okay, so there's that. And then we need some dimensionals for this one. Almost forgot the best part. Actually, I do too, Shannon. I like it. 
fussy cutting is, I mean, I don't know that I'd want to do it all day, but I kind of like it. And then this is going to go right here. There you go. Beautiful photos. They're really pretty. I love it. So there's that and that one. Okay. Keep getting everything out of the photo out of the camera today. Alrighty. Well, make some cards. I can't wait to see what you do. I will get that one I showed you from Thursday and come back Thursday. Remember Thursday nights at 7:30 Eastern. It's a little bit earlier because we talk longer. And just bring some stuff to work on. It doesn't matter what I'm doing or, or any of those things. I, I, was, I sometimes post the card early, but then again, maybe I won't. Um, it doesn't really matter. Just come and chat and enjoy, okay? All right. Well, thanks for coming tonight, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.